Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about frequency polygon. We have already learned mean, median, mode. So today uh, we are going to see this frequency polygon. It's one of the easy topic and not very difficult. Let's quickly see the examples now. So uh, this is our question. The table shows some information about 60 oranges and draw frequency, draw frequency polygon here. Yeah? So what we need to do if you see here weight between 100 to 110 there are five oranges whose weights are between 100 and 110 similarly between 110 to 120 there are nine and then 120 to 130 they are 14 130 to 140 that is 24 and 140 to 150 they are eight so first thing what you need to do you need to calculate the midpoint here so midpoint of 100 and 110 so how to calculate it you add 100 and 110 and divide by 2 if you add 110 and 100 so it will be 210 divide by 2 and 210 divide by 2 is 105 okay so this is the way you can calculate it otherwise you can see this this will be 105 this will be 115 so let's write down here this is 105 and this will be 115 okay this will be 125 and this will be 135 and this will be 145 so this is mean yeah mean mean weight that is 145 now you need to put this information in frequency polygon so what do you need to do uh, do sorry here it is 105 and 5 so let's write down so first data is 105 and 5 so we are taking this one 105 and frequency is 5 so this is 105 and frequency is 5 next one is 115 and frequency is 9 115 and frequency is 9 so 125 and 14 125 and 14 and then 135 and 24 so let's write down here 135 and 24 and the last value is 145 and 8 so this is 145 and 8 so let's plot this frequency polygon on this graph so if you see here is frequency frequency is given okay so yeah so uh, let's plot it so if you see frequency is on y axis and weight is on x axis right so here it is 105 and x so this is 100 110 so 105 and here frequency is 5 so this is 105 let's take some other ink so this is 105 and 5 so 105 here on x axis and 5 here so we'll make a cross here then 115 and 9 so 115 will be here and 9 will be because there are 10 lines here yeah? so uh, this is 5 and 5 so 9 will be here 115 this 115 and 9 will be here okay now one this is done 125 and 14 so this is one 125 125 and this will be 14 so this is 10 and 5 15 and 14 will be this one okay so this is done now 135 and 24 so this is 135 and 24 this is 20 this is 25 so so this will be here 24 okay now 135 135 and 24 is done now 145 and 8 so this is 145 145 and 8 it will be here okay and you can join them so this this will be this will be your frequency polygon yeah nice and easy so i hope you have, must have understood so let's see some more examples here the table gives information about the length of the branches on a bush so this is uh, this is length a uh, length is given uh, length is given here 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 30 to 40 
40 to 50 and 50 to 60 and this is frequency so first thing what you need to calculate you need to calculate midpoint here so here midpoint will be 5 how we got 5 0 plus 10 divided by 5 so 0 plus 10 divided by 5 is 5 10 plus 20 that is 30 30 divided by uh, 2 that is 15 this will be 25 this will be 35 this will be 45 and this will be 55 here yeah? so let's plot this so our first point is 5 and 20 so 5 and 20 let's take here so on x-axis this is 5 let me take red color so this is 5 5 will be mid 5 and 20 so this is 5 and 20 yeah? now next value is you know, 5 and 20 we have done so next value is 15 and 12 so we are going for 15 and 12 if you see here it is 15 and 12 so let's go for 15 and 12 so this is 10 and middle number will be 15 15 and 12 so this is 10 and two boxes one box is showing you 12 yeah so this will be yeah this point so 15 and 12 now let's take 25 and 10 so next value is 25 and 10 so this is 25 middle value and 10 so 25 and 10 will be this one now 35 and 8 so let's take 35 35 is the mid value here and 8 8 will be so this is 5 5 and this will be 8 here and uh, then 45 and 6 so this is 45 and just below 5 oh sorry just above 5 it will be it will be 6 okay now 55 and 0 so this will be 55 and 0 so if you join them like this so 55 and 0 so this will give you uh, frequency polygon nice and easy so this is the way you can uh, simplify frequency polygon question and these questions always comes in the exam yeah so I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, now next section which we are going to do in next video it is so it will be perimeter area and volume so we have we have covered uh, mean median mode and range frequency polygon now next video will be based on perimeter area and volume till then goodbye thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe to my channel it is genius making machine tcsc and a level maths thanks for watching bye bye